Hello. Hope you're all well. Just um, wait for everybody to join us. Um, now today you need to get some tins of stuff out of your cupboard. So just I've got two tins of beans here. So go to your cupboard and get some tins of beans. And you're going to need a rolled up towel, or if you have a ball, have a ball. So if you've got a ball, grab a ball. If you don't, just get a towel, and I want you just to roll it up um, into like a little bunchy thing. I find it actually easier if you fold it into three, and then you roll it up, because then you get a bit more of a ball kind of shape. So ball and tins. So you need those bits of equipment to start today. So I hope you're all okay. Winter's on its way. We had our first frost down here in Beatty Street yesterday, so that was good. Um, it's nice to know that the seasons are changing and after the long hot summer, it's nice to have something different too. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, and keeping up those sort of six exercises to do at home every day. That's the most important thing that we keep our bodies strong at the moment and do what we can. Now, I'm just going to look at the clock and see if it's time. No, it's not quite time yet. So I'll just keep standing, sitting here chatting from my kitchen um, till we wait for everyone to join in to join us. So... I don't know who's out there today, but it's been very encouraging the number of people that have been joining in because I can have a look afterwards and it tells me how many people have joined in. So that's very encouraging for me to know that A, the technology is working and B, that people are giving it a go because um, that's really good. So that's all good. So I'm keeping very well. No germs near me. I think I get to wash my hands like a thousand times a day. Um, working in the work that I do as a you know, physio and aged care land. So everyone's keeping well and that's, that's a good thing. So make sure you're doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing um, and all of you should be not going to the shops right now. You need to be staying away from the supermarkets. So if you don't know about online shopping, you need to be asking some friends or family or your home care helpers um, to help you with the shopping because unfortunately the supermarket is probably one of the most germiest places you can go to. So we want to avoid germy places. So if you need anything, just even flick me an email because I'm happy to go and do a little bit of shopping for people if you've got no one else to do it. So that's fine by me. Right ho well we might just start a little bit. I'm just going to adjust the camera a bit because it's not quite in the right place. So I'm just going to walk in and just fix the computer a little bit here. So you get me up close, that's the way. Just going to adjust that a little bit so it's a bit better. Yeah, that's better. Good work. Righty ho Well, we might just warm up a little bit and um, just get some blood pumping. I noticed last night that there was some... Um, the smell of people lying there in wood smoke fires. So there's actually a bit of wood smoke in the air. So I think some people have decided that it was cold enough to light a fire. So anyway, I think I'll tough it out for another week or so. That's it, marching on the spot. Just warm your body up. That's it. And try and go out to the side. So do your side tapping. And we're going to do opposite arm and leg. So opposite arm and leg. Tap to the side. Opposite arm and leg. That's the way. Good. Good work. Now we're going to do one tap forward, one tap forward, one tap to the side, one tap to the side. So forward, forward, side, side. Forward, forward, side, side. Forward, forward, side, side. Forward, forward, side, side. That's it, keep going, just get the rhythm going. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in arms that kind of do something a bit different. 
So when your foot's forward, your arm's going to be to the side. When your foot's to the side, your arm's going to be forward. So just a little bit of a difference with your arms. So your arms are going in a different direction to your feet. So forward, that's the way, side. Forward, feet, arms to the side. When your foot's to the side, your arm's forward. And then we're doing the same side. So when your right arm's moving, your left arm's, your right leg's moving. That's it. So tap forward, arm to the side. Tap to the side, arms forward. Do a few more. Well done. Okay. Now let's just do a little bit of twisting. So twist one way and twist the other way. Loosen up that back. It's kind of weird to think that Easter's on Saturday, on Friday and Sunday, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, it will be very different for some of us. I normally go to church, but won't be obviously this time, so everything's into live streaming, which is a new thing for all of us. Radio. Okay. Now we're going to wriggle forward in the chair as far as you can without falling off. And we're going to lean back and fold our arms. And then we're going to push forward and push your arms forward. So lean back, push forward. 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 Lean back. Push forward, I'm going to do three more, one, two, three, well done. Okay, so we're going to do some just rocking off of our bottoms, so we're going to try and fold our arms, push through your feet and lift your bottom up and down. So push through and stand up and down. I'm still going to have to adjust my computer a bit. <laughs> my head's being chopped off. I'm just going back a bit further. So you keep going. I'm just going to move my chair. Take a touch. So keep going up and down. That's it. Yeah, I'm still getting my head chopped off. I'm going to have to move this a little bit. Sorry, gang. That's the way. So up and down. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> Just excuse my technology skills. See, that's better. Oh, that's better. <laughs> no, I've got it on. We're going to do three more. One, two, three. Good work. Okay, now slowly sitting down. Now grab your towel or your ball, whatever you picked. We're going to stick that between your feet and we're going to squeeze, squeeze like we normally would squeeze a ball. So squeeze a lift. My trousers in the right place. So squeeze and lift. And up in the air and squeeze and keep your legs up. Okay, big squeeze. Now we're going to do our fours while we're squeezing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's up again. Back down. And down. And have a rest. Well done. Rightio. Now bring the 
ball or the towel up to your knees and wriggle forward in the chair. We're going to stick it between our knees. We're going to pull our waist in. So squeeze, waist, arm stretch back, arm stretch back. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Let's do it again. Squeeze, stomach in, arm back, arm back. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And let's do one more. Squeeze, stomach, arm back, arm back. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Well done. Okay, shuffle it back down to your feet. Wriggle your bottom back in your chair. Squeeze and lift. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do twenty. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good work. Righty up, put the towel to one side and I want you to slowly stand up and if you need two chairs, have two chairs ready because sometimes you need a chair to sit on and a chair to hold on to. So if you need two chairs nearby, make sure you've got all of your equipment ready. Okay, and I hope you've locked away your dog because we don't want dogs hanging around either. Now we're going to do some leg out to the sides. So... Swinging out. Now, I want you to try and keep your body very still, okay? Only fairy touch on the chair. Try and get your legs to control your body. So we're going to do 15. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okie dokie. Now, if you need to move around, you can turn around this way if you want to. And let's do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we're going to go up and down on our tippy toes, so up and down. So stretching up and down. If you need to fairy touch your chair, okay, fairy touching. We don't want anyone falling over. So this is three. We're going to do 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Now try and stretch up on your tippy toes if you can. Stretch your arms up. We're going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit of stepping to the side. So again, if you need to have your chair in front, you can. And you can step to the side, step to the side. Okay, I'm just going to move the chair out of the way because I don't need it. But if you need the chair in front, put it in front. So we're going to step together, step, step together, step, step together, step, step together, step. Step together, step, step together, step, step together, step, step together, step. That's it. Good work. Do a few more. Radio. Okay. Now we're going to do a few lunges. So if you want to rest on that chair, you can. 
leg forward, we're going to do 10 on each leg. So bend the front leg down, so up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Let's do ten. You ready? One. Hang on to the chair if you need. Rest your fingers on it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of stepping to the side again. So let's do step together step. You need to have your chair in front. And you're going to step to the side like this, have your chair nearby. So pick whichever way you want to have your chair to keep yourself. And this time we're going to put in a little bit of a kick. So have a kick. Have a kick. Now those of you who are a bit quicker, you can go a bit faster if you want to. So pick your own speed. But like I said, you've got to make sure you're safe. Okay, good. One more time. Okay, now we're going to go up and down on those tippy toes again. So up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to stand up. Stretching up on your tippy toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Right here. Now find your chair and make sure you're in front of your chair and you're going to slowly sit down. So let's do ten seconds. So find your arms, but make sure you know where your chair is. So let's go down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep moving, eight, nine, ten. Right here. Now, I hope your um, tins are close by. Otherwise, you're going to have to stand up and get them again. So keep them next to under your chair or something so you know where they are. So wriggle back. And we're just going to do a little bit of punching with the weights in our hands. A bit of punching. Works the way good. Those arms working. A few more. Well done. Okay, now we're going to take the weight to your shoulder, up in the air, back to your shoulder, down. Up to your shoulder, up in the air, back to your shoulder, down. Good work. That's the way, good. So just do one arm. I've got beans in my tins. <laughs> I hope they don't become seriously mashed because I'm doing this with them. But I suppose it doesn't matter. I actually have some heavier weights over there, which I might use a bit later. For the moment, let's use the tins, do one more, and let's do the other side. So shoulder up, shoulder down, 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 shoulder up, shoulder down. Down, shoulder, up, shoulder, down. One more. Good work. Now, we're just going to lean over the side of our chair and we're just going to go up and down 10 times with the weight in our hand. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight, nine, ten. Other side, let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Right, now sitting up nice and straight, hold your tins together, keep your elbows tucked in, hands apart, hands together. That's it, good. One more time. Well done. Okay, now let's just do a little bit of just punching again. So moving your body, moving your arms, and we're going to try and punch up into the air with the weights. Then come back down. Come back up again. Come back down. Come back up again. That's it, good. Back down. Up again. And back down. Righty ho. Now put one arm over the side and just take it out and out to the side. We're going to do 10. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, and let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, put your tins away, put them on the floor under your chair if you need, whatever you need to do. Righty O. So we're going to just do a bit of um, marching again. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, opposite kick. So one, two, three, four, opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four, opposite arm and leg. Two, three, four, opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four, opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four, opposite arm and leg. One, two, three. Opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four. Opposite arm and leg. Opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four. Opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four. Opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. One, two, three, four. Because each time we're going to do a different leg first. So the way we're counting, you swap your legs over with which one goes first. That's the way. Good. A few more. Oops. <laughs> and I did that one wrong. Rightio. Okay. Let's slowly stand up again. And grab your chair if you need. Okay, so we're going to have a go at doing the clock today, standing up. So we've got the clock drawn around our feet. And you are standing in the middle of your clock. I want you to put your right foot to number 12. So right foot to number 12. Do not look at my clock. Think about your own. Your right leg is going to move. Point to number three. Number one. Number six, number five, number two, number three, number one, number four, number seven, number three, number two, number five, number one, number six, number five, number four, number three, twelve, two, seven. Four, six, one, three. Good work. Let's try the other leg. So the left leg is pointing forward. 
So you're moving just your left leg and you're going to point to number 11, 10, 9, 12, 11, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 9, 10, 8, 7, 6, 11, 10, 12, 9, 10, 5, 7, 6, 9, 11, 12. Well done, team. Good work. Okay, let's do some squats. So we're going to slide our hands down, slide our hands up. Let's do 10. Two, if you need to hang on to that chair, hang on to the chair. Otherwise, push through your thighs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, now we're going to do a little thing with a square. So you're going to draw a square in front of you. You're going to go forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. That's the way. If you need to touch the chair, touch the chair. Just do what you need to do. Let's go back the other way. So you're going to put the other leg forward. So forward, forward, back, back. 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 If you need to hold the chair, hold the chair. Good work. Rightio. Now let's do some more squats again. So if you need to hang on, hang on. Otherwise, push through your thighs. Get your knees bending out. That's it. Good work. I'm going to do 10. This is two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, now while we're standing up, we're just going to do a bit of side to side stretching. Loosen up our bodies. Go side to side. Good work. Okay. Now, we're just going to do a little bit of pointing forward. So I'm going to point forward, forward, side, back, together. 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 Now the other side, let's do the other side. Forward, side, back, together. Forward, side, back, together. Forward, side, back, together. Forward, side, back, together. That's it. And if you want to go a bit quicker, you can go quicker. If you don't need to hang on, let go. Just make sure you point with accuracy. Good work. Okay. 
Now, we're just going to do a little bit of balance and then we're going to sit down again. So we're going to do the side to side balance. So just rocking onto one leg. Remember this needs to stay straight. Clench your bottom, pull in your tummy, make your leg like a metal bar. Lift the other leg up. Same on this side. Clench your bottom, get your legs strong, get your body strong, pick up the other leg. So it's about teaching your leg to be strong. It's not going to give way if it's strong. That's it. Get your body nice and controlled. The more control you have, the longer you can pick your foot up for. So it's a mixture of strength and it's a mixture of balance. Okay, now we're going to put one foot in front of the other. Try and make a straight line with your feet. Up nice and straight with good posture. You need to fairy touch, fairy touch, but try and let your legs do the work. Let's do 10 seconds together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And swap around. So let's try the other leg. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, now find your chair. Okay, sit back down nice and slowly. Make sure you're in front of the chair before you sit down. And like I said, if it's useful to have two chairs, have two chairs. That's perfectly fine. So let's fold our arms and we're going to slowly sit down and we're going to take 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, find your towel or your ball, whatever you've got. You're going to stick it back between your feet. And we're going to just go up and down again, four. That's it. So squeeze and lift. Six, seven, we're going to do 20, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're going to squeeze and stay up in the air for 20 seconds. So up in the air, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and down. Good work. Okay, take out your towel, put it up between your knees, wriggle forward in the chair. Okay, and this is a bit tricky. We're going to actually squeeze the towel, so put it right between your knees. Squeeze, bottom lift, back down. So if you need to push through your thighs, you can. But if you can, fold your arms. So squeeze together, put the weight on your feet, lift your bottom up, sit back down. So just try and get that bottom strengthening happening. So we're going to do 10. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good work. Okay. Pop your towel on your ball to one side. Make sure it's out of your way. I've rearranged my whole kitchen, you know, for you people. <laughs> so this is my kitchen table now pushed to one side because I'm not going to keep dragging it across every time we do exercise. Okay. Let's do the hard thing. So let's get your brains connected. So we're going to do two taps, one, two, two taps, one, two, two taps to the side, one, two, two taps to the side, one, two, two taps forward, two taps forward, two taps to the side, two taps to the side, 
forward, 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 side, 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 side. One tap, two taps, one tap, two taps, one tap, two taps. Got it? So you've got your two taps going on. Let's do the hard thing with the arms. First tap, right arm. Second tap, left arm. First tap, right arm. Second tap, left arm. Now, I know some of you out there are struggling. Even thinking about doing this is a useful thing. Because while you're thinking about it, you're making your brain make new connections. And that's a very good thing to do. And I'm going to brag right now because some of you know I'm back studying. And I got 100% for my first neurobiology exam. So I was pretty pleased with that. First time ever I got 100% in the uni exam. So there you are. So right now I'm analysing all your brains as I'm doing all this neurobiology study. See, good work. So remember, first tap, right arm. Second tap, left arm. First tap, right arm. Second tap, left arm. That's the way. Good. So I'm building up what they call cognitive resilience. There you are. That's the term. It's good to have a cognitively resilient brain, and that's what you're doing right now is building cognitive resilience. So I'm not just making you do it for torturous purposes. I'm doing it because it's actually a very healthy thing for people to try and do new complex movements. Well done. Okay. Now let's stand up again and let's do one more standing up thing. So we need to do a little bit more balance. So up on your feet, get your chair wherever you need it to be. And we're going to march on the spot. Now, if you can let go and march, do let go. Just do normal speed marching. Do whatever speed you want to do safely. Some of you might not go as fast as me. That's okay. Do whatever speed's safe for you. Right, now we're going to slow it right down. So we're going to do slow motion marching. Slow motion. That's the way, good. Slow motion. Good work. Okay, now. Let's just do a little bit of tapping the opposite leg. So you're going to lift up the opposite leg and touch your knee. So up and back, up and back. You need to hang on, hang on. You can let go, let go. Okay, let's do the other side. So up, back, up. That's the way good. Now, let's try and do some in slow motion. So you're going to lift up your knee, touch it. Stretch back and try and do it as slowly as you can. Now I'm going to keep my leg up off the ground the whole time, which is a bit tricky. It's not good looking at yourself, I don't think. Makes me wobble. <laughs> Can't see myself on the screen, do you? I'm much better when I don't see myself. Okay, let's try the other leg. So nice and slow. Up, touch, stretch back. I need to not look at myself and then I can focus. Oop, I was fall over sideways. <laughs> oh, I hope you did better than me. Rightio, okay. Now let's just do again a bit more marching. So get your speed going, get your heart rate going. 
You can go as fast as me. You can go faster than me if you're safe. You can go slower than me. I don't care. Just get your blood pumping. Get it going through your body. Rightio. Now we're going to do it in slow motion. So just slowly control. Try not to let your body wobble too much. Well done. Okay, doke. Now we just need to do a few more um, lunges. So let's just do a few more. Bending down, up and down. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and put the other leg in front. Let's do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Touch if you need. 9, 10. Well done. Okay, one little balancey thing. So we're going to try and take one arm out to the side and we're going to try, try and take the opposite leg off. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's go the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Let's swap again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's swap again. One. Two, three, four, five. Well done. Okay, so let's find your chair and slowly sit down. And we're just going to do um, a little bit more with our tins of beans, just a little bit more. Righty o. Okay, so we're going to sit up nice and straight in our chairs. Pull your tummies in and I want you to pull your elbows back towards your chair. So we're going to pull in back. So one, pull back, two, pull back, three, pull back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now put the tin down next to your body and you're going to draw an eight with your hand. So draw an eight one way. And now draw an eight the other way. And let's do the other side. So let's do an eight. And now let's reverse the eight. Good work. And sitting up nice and straight again, stomach in, hands together, hands apart. Let's just do 10 of these to finish with the weights. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Excellent. Now let's just do a few stretches and then we're just about finished, which is gone quickly. So thumb up across your body, give your arm a hug and thumb down. And the other side, thumb up across your body. And thumb down. And the 
then the other side, come up, cross your body, and come down. Come up, across your body, and thumb down. Good work. Okay, pick up your foot, and up and down with your calf, stretching your foot up and down. And the other side, up and down. And foot round and round. Back the other way, round and round. And the other way, round and round. Back the other way. Good work. Okay. Put your right hand on your left leg and twist to the left. Put your left hand on your right leg and twist to the right. Put your right hand on your left leg and twist to the left. And put your left hand on your right leg and twist to the right. Work. Okay, roll your shoulders. Get all the clunks and the bumps out of the shoulders. Okay, put your hand on the same shoulder, push it up in the air. If you can't get it up that high, just push it to wherever you can get it. I'm just doing mine because I need to stretch mine at the moment. And don't forget, you've got to do a bit of stretching every day. In fact, I'm going to do a little YouTube thing about stretching because it's very important. Up the other side. Like feet out in front and pop your feet up and just slowly walk your feet, your feet, your fingers towards your feet. And come back up. Let's go to wherever you're comfortable. Come back up. And one more down we go. And come back up. Well done. Okie dokie. Let's just stretch our ear to our shoulders and the other way. Stretch your head over as far as you can. And the other way. And the other way. And the other way. And turn your head and look over your shoulder. Turn your head look over your shoulder. Turn your head look over your shoulder. Turn your head. Good work. Righty ho, give your hand a shake. Hand shake. Let's give your foot a shake. The foot a shake. Everything shaking. That's it. Big breath up. One. Two. And one more. And give yourselves a big clap, team. Excellent work. I'm going to come and turn off the computer so you're going to see me in close-up action. And don't forget we're doing more seated exercises at 10.30 on Thursday. Standing exercises on Wednesday at 5, Thursday at 9, and then Saturday at 8.30. So plenty of chances to exercise.
So see ya. Bye.